the spark and the passion is like an accumulation and an abstraction of all the little decisions that you make on a daily basis. We used to bang on pots and pans. We needed to play music. We had to, but we didn't know how to play any instruments. The passion comes directly from loving these two so much. I don't think everyone has clear purpose. Very often I feel lucky that we get to do this. I think we take really good care of each other, so then therefore we take really good care of that, of that spark and that drive. It's a lot like being in a marriage, you know, in a in platonic marriage. You have to make sure that you have the same long-term goals. And for us, I think it's to feel a certain way. It's not necessarily to achieve certain things, although that will be great and that will be celebrated if it happens, but it's how we want to feel at the end of the day. About four years ago, I went through a lot of grief. My brother passed away and then my grandmother passed away. The relationships that sort of solidified in that time for me, mirrored in the music that we made, mirrored in the shows that we played, mirrored in our goals. Like on stage, when you're the most vulnerable, you're also the most like authentic. I knew through that time period, like through the, the one of the toughest times in my life that I wanted to make music with these two. All of our songwriting is based on real life. The songs that we've been doing for a long time too have changed over time, but they're still based off of events, factual events. Mm -hmm. When you write about your own life, like all the feelings are already there. All the facts are there. Like to completely just make stuff up would be unnecessary. Denver is an incredible scene for a lot of different reasons. The fact that there is some eclectic scenes within the scene is pretty incredible. There are incredible women in the scene. We were able to see things that defied our expectations, things that we never thought that we would see, and I think seeing that influenced who we are today and what band we are today, because who the fuck thought that I would be a full-time beatboxer or that you would play ukulele the way you do or that you play keys the way that you do because the expectation would be to never put those three things together. We still come to the table with ideas and we still want to grow and change and do different things on the records that have not been born yet. We have each other's backs at any hour of the day. That's like the best thing in the whole world. We all love music because it kind of heals the three of us, I think. I'm Blair. I'm Harmony. And I'm Michelle. And we are the Milk Blossoms. <laughs>